In the spring of 2000, a robotic camera was lowered into these waters for the first time. This has never been done. No one has been in the area at all with a remote control camera. The robotic camera's survey revealed many shapes and objects familiar to Moeller, including coral formations with right angles, arches, discs, and straight shafts fused into larger masses that had the appearance of twisted wreckage. Now, when we have been able to go back and forth with a remote control camera, we can repeatedly see that these strange structures we are looking for are there, not at one place, but you see them again and again and again. There are situations where you see something that looks like an axle, a hub, something that looks like a wheel, and you say to yourself, this is not a coral reef, this is a coral growth on an artifact. And that is what's different to me when I compare corals at other locations around the world. Since the earliest explorations at Nueva, one distinctive type of formation has often been identified on the sea floor. A slender, table-like structure, sometimes standing on end, with a coral-encrusted base, a straight shaft, and a circular top. It's a 90 degree angle, a right angle, between something that looks like an axle and the wheel. And you can see this in different varieties, and it looks very different from normal coral growth. And uh, it is like a man-made structure with a coral growth on it. In the midst of them, Pan Tien photographed this circular object attached to what appears to have been a broken axle or hub. This discovery was significant for two reasons. Pantien had documented the coral encrusted form of a wheel with dimensions similar to ancient Egyptian artifacts directly across from the proposed Nueva crossing site. Her find also provided independent confirmation of earlier evidence establishing wheel-like formations on both coasts of the Red Sea in accordance with descriptions in the biblical record. And the Lord looked down on the Egyptian army, and he made the wheels of their chariots come off. The seafloor is smooth and contains gradual contours. Our first artifact to inspect is this chariot wheel that still has three of its four spokes, plus the hub is extending upward. We see 90 degree angles here, which are a sign of man-made structure. The Lord looked down upon the army of the Egyptians, and he took off their chariot wheels. The chariot wheel with six spokes was the most widely used by the Egyptians. Egyptian chariots were known to use metal hubs in the center of the wheels. Using metal detectors, Divers have found metal in the raised hubs that are now covered in coral. Here we see another four-spoked chariot wheel with one spoke missing and the center raised hub. The coral here has preserved the chariot parts by retaining the man-made structure even after the wood has disappeared. Here we see another wheel suspended on its axle standing at attention. It has six spokes and a raised center hub. Ron Wyatt made many dives here and located many artifacts. This could have once been a chariot cab. This appears to be another round chariot wheel. Horse remains have also been found here, such as this shrunken hoof. Horses are not in the Sinai Peninsula today. Human remains have also been found, such as this coral-covered femur bone on the right. Lab tests confirmed that it is in fact bone. Other bones have also been found. 
A cross section reveals the bone inside the coral. Here we see a chariot wheel standing on its axle in this old 1978 footage shot by Ron Wyatt. Next we see an eight-spoke wheel with one spoke missing. Eight-spoke wheels were only used during the 18th dynasty, the time of the Exodus. The premier find here at the crossing site is this gold veneer that was left behind from a four-spoke chariot wheel. The Bible tells us there were 600 choice chariots used in the chase of the children of Israel. This artifact was left behind at a depth of 200 feet. Since specialized equipment would be necessary to raise it to the surface, today it is still in the location where it was found. Since there are chariot parts on this side of the Red Sea crossing, could there be other chariot parts on the other side of the Gulf, showing a continuation of artifacts? On the shore opposite of Nueva, inspection of the seafloor in Saudi Arabia has also been conducted to see if chariot parts can be found on this side of the Red Sea crossing. While investigating the Saudi Arabian waters, Vivica Pontian found this beautiful round chariot wheel specimen with a raised center hub. This is confirmation of the chariot parts continuing to the other side of the crossing site, opposite Nueva.